It is Earth Day, time to focus on protecting planet Earth, and her biggest threat, climate change, can take many forms. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, some of the impact can be seen right here in Long Island's wildlife populations. Spring bird migration is underway. Song and seabirds are returning to Long Island shores from distant skies. They come from Central South America, Florida. They come to Long Island. Among them, terns. Smaller cousins of the seagull, they nest on marshes and shores away from beach crowds. Wildlife conservationists from the nonprofit SeaTuck have been monitoring terns for decades. The prognosis is not good. Last year, their marsh cameras captured the terns' summer home completely underwater. We've found that they've completely abandoned this site that they've been using since 1995. So as sea level rise gets worse, flooding events get worse, and their nests actually just get completely flooded out. But the primary concern is really sea level rise. There's no place for these natural areas to retreat to. They'll be extinguished. New York's coastal sea level has risen almost a foot in the last hundred years, and researchers project another one to two feet by mid-century. Add in more frequent storms, and not only seabirds are losing habitat, diamondback terrapins, which come ashore to lay eggs, are also losing ground. And the floodwaters will actually drown the eggs. The eggs must be, must be dry to incubate and to hatch. Here at the Turtle Rescue of the Hamptons, experts don't think it's any coincidence that 85% of the intakes are female. On a higher temperature, which the sand usually is when there's severe weather, the gender will lean towards female. And you know there's no population with just females, so it is affecting the terrapin population drastically. <laughs> At the same time, damaging insects are moving north due to climate change. Millions of southern pine beetles have decimated hundreds of thousands of Long Island trees. The winters we're getting are not cold enough to kill the beetle. The summers are getting hotter every single year. The beetles very happy in reproducing. And when insects hatch earlier, bird migration is thrown off. The concern is that because of climate change, the cafeteria is emptied out too early there won't be any food for the birds. This is the global crapshoot that we're involved in now with, with climate change. It's varied and hard to know full impacts uh, that it'll have on wildlife. Is that a single species of living thing on the planet that isn't potentially gonna be affected by climate change? SeaTac conservationists are not only sounding the alarm, but also seeking solutions. Each of us in our lifestyle can make choices that minimize impacts upon the planet. There is no planet B. This is the only planet we have. The turns will be back soon. Wildlife scientists wait to see if they'll return to Long Island's shrinking marshes. In Islip, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.